or uterine leomyomas also known as myomas or fibroids, is a common condition, which affects up to 40% of women of reproductive age. Uterine fibroids are benign progesterone and estrogen sensitive tumors, arising in the smooth muscle cells of the myometrium. Fibroids can range in size, they can be solitary or more often, multiple. They are classified as intramural, subserous and submucous. The majority of women with fibroids are asymptomatic, but when symptoms do appear, they cause significant morbidity and affect women's quality of life. The main symptoms are excessive uterine bleeding, in many cases even leading to severe anemia, pelvic pain, and pressure effects such as frequent urination or incontinence. Fibroids, which are frequently distorting uterine cavity, can also cause infertility, miscarriage and other pregnancy complications. Progesterone was recently identified as one of the key growth factors in the pathogenesis of fibroids. Fibroids respond to progesterone because of the presence of progesterone receptors in their cells. This finding supports the development of a new class of compounds. The selective progesterone receptor modulators called SPRM, which exert a specific action when binding to the progesterone receptor. The first SPRM available for the treatment of fibroids is known under the trade name Uliprist. Uliprist is a once daily or early active pill. Once in the body, Uliprist will enter the cell and selectively bind to the intracellular progesterone receptors. Inside the nucleus, progesterone receptor coupled to uliprist forms a dimer. This dimer will bind to part of the DNA that controls the expression of genes that are normally regulated by progesterone, known as the progesterone response element. In most tissues the presence of uliprist allows the recruitment and binding of a family proteins known as GO repressors, that block the transcription of genes induced by progesterone receptors. In this situation gene expression that is usually activated by progesterone is switched off in other tissues and in other circumstances. The presence of uliprist attracts the binding of co-activators that enable the activity of progesterone receptors. In this situation some other gene expression normally activated by progesterone is also activated by uliprist. This explains Uliprist's dual action, which can mimic or block the normal actions of progesterone, depending on the type of cell, and on the presence of co-activators or co-repressors or both. Uliprist exerts direct action on three different target tissues, the fibroids, the pituitary gland and in the endometrium. On fibroids, Uliprist action blocks the progesterone receptors inhibiting cell proliferation and inducing apoptosis or cell death. This results in the shrinkage of fibroids, which can be maintained for up to six months. After the treatment is stopped, Uliprist has similar effect on all types of fibroids, regardless of their location or size. Another important issue on which Uliprist has direct action is the pituitary gland. It selectively blocks progesterone activity, reducing luteinizing hormone and follicle-stimulating hormone secretion, while maintaining mid-follicular estrogen levels. This is important as most women do not experience hot flashes, which are frequently seen with other therapies. By its direct action on the pituitary, uliprist inhibits the ovulation which contributes to inducing eumenorrhea or complete absence of bleeding. A third important issue on which Uliprist exerts a direct effect on is the endometrium which contributes to the quick reduction and often total suppression of uterine bleeding. Uliprist's activity may transform the endometrium, resulting in the progesterone receptor modulator associated endometrial changes. Characterized mainly by cystic glandular dilatation with low mitotic index. These changes are reversible, and they disappear once treatment is stopped, and menstruation has resumed. In clinical studies, Uliprist treatment demonstrated control of bleeding in over 90% of patients. Fast onset of action, 
For majority of women the bleeding is controlled within 7 days and reduction of fibroid size which can be maintained for up to 6 months after treatment is discontinued.